I don't think people understand what true happiness really is. Is it a life of luxury, overflowing with material possessions and fleeting pleasures? Is it the constant pursuit of instant gratification, chasing fleeting highs that leave us emptier than before? Many people believe these are the ingredients of a happy life. But true happiness runs far deeper. It's about connecting with something bigger than ourselves. It's about finding meaning and purpose. It's about building a life filled with genuine connection and contribution. For years, we've been sold a distorted version of happiness, one that equates it with external validation and fleeting pleasure. We're bombarded with images of perfect lives, flawless faces, and luxurious lifestyles. This constant barrage can leave us feeling inadequate, as if we're failing to achieve some elusive standard of happiness. But true happiness cannot be found in external validation or fleeting pleasure. It comes from within. It's a deep sense of fulfillment and contentment that arises from living a meaningful life. I bet you didn't know that the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle recognized this distinction centuries ago. He differentiated between two forms of happiness, hedonia and eudaimonia. Hedonia, he argued, is the pursuit of pleasure and the avoidance of pain. It's about indulging in what feels good in the moment, regardless of its long-term consequences. Think of that extra slice of cake, the thrill of a shopping spree, or the instant gratification of social media likes. These things bring fleeting pleasure, but rarely lasting fulfillment. Eudaimonia, on the other hand, is a deeper, more enduring form of happiness. It's about living a life of purpose, virtue, and meaning. It's about striving to be the best version of ourselves and contributing to something larger than ourselves. This could be through our work, our relationships, or our contributions to our communities. Eudaimonia is about aligning our actions with our values and living a life of integrity. You need to watch this if you struggle with finding true happiness and fulfillment. Psychologist Abraham Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs provides a helpful framework for understanding the different levels of human needs and their relationship to happiness. At the base of the pyramid are our basic physiological needs such as food, water, and shelter. Once these needs are met, we can move on to higher level needs such as safety, belonging, love, esteem, and self-actualization. Self-actualization, the pinnacle of Maslow's hierarchy, is the desire to fulfill our potential, to become the best versions of ourselves. This involves identifying our unique talents, passions, and values, and then aligning our lives with these core aspects of ourselves. It's about living authentically and pursuing goals that are meaningful to us. Self-actualization is not a destination, but a journey, a continuous process of growth and self-discovery. You need to hear this if you're seeking true happiness. Section 4. Ubuntu and We Actualization – A Collective Ascent While Maslow's hierarchy provides a valuable framework, it primarily focuses on individual growth. However, emerging research highlights the critical role of collective purpose and interconnectedness in achieving true happiness. This brings us to the concept of We Actualization. Rooted in the African philosophy of Ubuntu, which emphasizes the interconnectedness of all beings, we actualization suggests that our individual fulfillment is deeply intertwined with the well-being of our communities and the world around us. Ubuntu, often translated as humanity towards others, reminds us that we are not isolated individuals but part of a larger web of life. Our actions have ripple effects, impacting not only our own lives but also the lives of those around us. We actualization encourages us to shift from an I mentality to a we mentality recognizing that our happiness is intertwined with the happiness of others. I bet you didn't know that happiness is not just a solo journey. Section 5. The Science of Shared Purpose Happiness Finds Company This concept of we actualization is supported by a growing body of scientific research. Studies have shown that people who have a strong sense of purpose and belonging in their communities tend to be happier and healthier. They experience lower levels of stress and depression, greater resilience in the face of challenges, and increased longevity. Contributing to something larger than ourselves, whether through volunteering, activism, or simply supporting our loved ones, provides a sense of meaning and purpose that transcends our individual lives.